PSA test, which stands for prostate-specific antigen, is a blood test that can be readily obtained by just about any lab anywhere. And it's a simple blood test, and men, by getting this blood test done, will determine whether those men are at risk for prostate cancer or not. Uh, it's a simple, easy-to-do test. It's non-invasive, no fingers placed anywhere men don't want them, just a simple blood test. So an abnormal PSA test means that that man is at risk for prostate cancer. It doesn't mean that man has prostate cancer. And there are sort of two pathways that we can go down when a man has an elevated PSA level. Uh, the first is the traditional pathway, which is simply proceeding to do a series of biopsies of the prostate, which is a simple in-office procedure where we numb up the prostate and we take a series of pieces of tissue from the prostate and we send it to the pathologist for analysis. However, an emerging paradigm in how we manage these patients is changing and it's becoming that we want to obtain pictures before we go ahead and do that prostate biopsy. So an MRI of the prostate is a little bit like a GPS that you might have in your car. It can determine where in the prostate is the abnormality. And that GPS allows us to focus a little bit more carefully with our prostate biopsies. So we are shifting to this paradigm here at Memorial uh, and we are allowing our patients to get an MRI of the prostate that helps us determine whether that man even needs to go ahead and get that prostate biopsy, and if they do, doing a better, more accurate biopsy.